Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. This uh, video uh, for today is one in the continuing series of great Celtic players of the past and is another one to add to the great Celtic strikers of the 80s. Um, goes alongside similar videos recently for George McCluskey and Frank McGarvey and the previous videos which were of the 70s for Dixie Deans, Paul Wilson and Harry Hood and all those are still all available on the channel and do recommend having a look at those as well. So this video is going to be about one of Celtic's great strikers of the early mid 1980s, Brian McClare, a player who had four seasons at Celtic and then went on to great success also at Manchester United and this video is going to be concentrating on his time as a Celtic player from 1983 to 1987. Before we do chronic on with the video just to please a wee suggestion encouragement if you are new to the channel not yet subscribed please do click that subscribe button and keep the numbers pushing up and up and up uh, if you do like the video please do click that like button that allows YouTube to send it to more Celtic fans, more Brian McClare fans, more football fans, and do feel free to pop your pleasant, polite debating points, thoughts, comments, memories of Brian McClare into the comment section for a nice wee chat, discussion, debate on the channel. Brian McClare, as I said, was a Celtic player from 1983 to 1987, four seasons at Celtic. He was signed for £100,000 from Motherwell, where he'd been playing for a couple of seasons. He was signed by Billy McNeil, who subsequently resigned, and so his manager initially was Davy Hay. Uh, Brian McClare was uh, quite an adaptable player. He could play central midfield, attacking midfield, and as a striker, and during his time at Celtic, he also had to compete for places with other Celtic greats such as Frank McGarvey, Mo Johnston, uh, also competing for time and starts alongside Alan McAnally and Mark McGee. And so as a result, there were spells where he played as an attacking midfielder or a central midfielder, but uh, did form good partnerships with Frank McGarvey and Morris Johnston as well. Looking at some of Brian McClare's stats, um, played 204 games for Celtic and scored a very, very impressive 126 goals for Celtic. Um, given the fact that he wasn't always playing as a striker, that's pretty amazing output for a player. Only won a couple of trophies for Celtic in his time, which were the Cup Final in 1985 and the League title in 1985-86 a game in which he scored two goals in what uh, the last game of the season, which was a 5-0 win over St Mirren. Played for Scotland 30 times, scoring two goals, uh, sometimes playing as a striker, but much more often playing as a midfielder stroke attacking midfielder, and did uh, quite surprisingly be left out of Scotland's squads quite regularly despite the fact he was such a prolific goal scorer for Celtic. Looking his actual, his season by season stats, his first season for Celtic, 83-84, 32 goals, second season, 84-85, 24 goals, 29 in 85-86, and a remarkable 41 goals in 86-87, and was top scorer in the Scottish Premiership, Premier League in both 83-84 and 86-87 and was voted Player's Player and Football Writer's Player of the Year in 1987, which of course was his last season at Celtic. Now we're going to pop in um, some video highlights, uh, clips of Brian McClare, uh, taking uh, extracts from a couple of different other 
YouTube sites and internet sites, along with copyright disclosures and disclaimers. And so do enjoy those highlights. And after that, one or two more memories of Brian McClare. <laughs> enjoyed that wee reminder of the great Brian McClare. 
have to say when I was putting together this video, looking at a variety of different YouTube videos and internet sites and so on, actually it was a very good reminder of just how versatile and good a player he was. Um, he was remarkably good in the air, two-footed, had brilliant strikers' instincts in and around the goal, um, uh, scored an incredible number of goals in and around the six-yard box, um, and also able to drive from midfield, good powerful shot, and also a successful penalty taker. And uh, it is quite surprising, given the fact that he was playing in the Celtic team around the same time as Frank McGarvey, uh, Morris Johnston, Alan McAnally, Mark McGee, uh, taking over from the Charlie Nicholas and George McCluskey days. It is quite remarkable, given the fact that he wasn't always playing up front, just how many goals he scored. Uh, scored a remarkable 10 goals in 20 games against Rangers. Scored goals at the highest level in the cup final, although we did lose that time to Rangers. And when a big performance was needed against St Mirren in the last game of the season, he stepped up with two goals in that 5 nothing win when we won the title on the last day of the season. Also in those clips, very remarkable uh, long run and great shot from the edge of the box against Dundee United. Um, and uh, did score a great variety of goals. Brian McClare, very intelligent uh, player, but also a very intelligent man in real life. Um, was a mass graduate from Glasgow University whilst at Motherwell. Um, went on to have a successful career in management and coaching, primarily at Manchester United. Gave that up and has now been a very successful in running a, a podcasting channel um, and remains a very, very intelligent, uh, slightly eccentric man in real life. Um, I think on the basis of the great number of goals he called, scored for Celtic, 126 in 204 matches, he really does have to be uh, going down in history as one of Celtic's best strikers of the modern era. And is certainly right upside uh, with a lot of other Celtic greats, um, such as Dixie Deans, Frank McGarvey. Not really up in the levels of in modern players, such as Ken Dugleish and Henrik Larsson, probably two of Celtic's greatest goal scorers uh, in, uh, since the Lisbon Lion era. Uh, but uh, I think uh, one can safely put uh, Brian McClare just in that second level beneath the all-time greats like Doug Leash and Larson and Jimmy McGrory, etc. Um, and um, for me, this has been quite a nice trip down memory lane. I think part of the reason that Brian McClare maybe doesn't get the same level of praise and memorial is that um, the seasons where he was scoring those 126 gate goals in 204 matches weren't the best of times for Celtic. As I said, he only won two trophies at Celtic. He went on to win a considerable number of trophies at Manchester United. And so I think part of the reason that he doesn't quite go down in Celtic history archives is the fact that those 126 goals were in uh, several seasons where we, we won nothing or just once won the league and once won the cup in those four seasons. However, um, he's right up there with the other members of the videos so far. Um, and I would suggest having a wee look at those as well. And I'm planning more videos about some of Celtic's greats um, from that period onwards. So finishes off today's video, just a wee Reminder, as we finish the video, if you are new to the channel, not yet subscribed, please do click that subscriber button, keep the numbers going up and up. If you have liked the video, please do like the video. It does help get YouTube to circulate this video and the other videos in this series and on the channel to more and more Celtic fans, football fans, and Brian McClare fans in this case. 
and do pop your thoughts, comments, memories of Brian McClare into the comments section for a nice wee chat and debate amongst Celtic fans and football fans. And so, goodbye and hail, hail. <laughs>